Yeah, hello and welcome to Kemper Bushcraft. As you can see today, I'm in Kemper Camp again. It's been a while since I've been out here and uh, yeah. I uh, have something to tell you about the situation in Denmark. Uh, we haven't had rain for many weeks now. So uh, the forest and all the landscape is very dry. And uh, it's actually uh, in a couple of days uh, there will be a fire ban here. And uh, to be a responsible Viking and bushcrafter, I won't make fire out here today. So I won't make my coffee, I won't make food, but I have some other stuff I would like to drink and uh, share with you. So uh, I hope you enjoy this little video. And beside that, I have a little uh, project I'm going to make here, a little container uh, made out of uh, birch. And uh, yeah, and as uh, you saw, uh, in the beginning of my video, uh, I have Cornelius with me, but again he's on leash because there's a dirt road down there where there's a traffic sometimes, and also there's a, a fox and a fox hole over here that I'm afraid he'll go down in and uh, perhaps interact with the fox. So I don't want to do that. But he's with me, and uh, it's uh, cool out here in the forest. Outside in the sun, it's very hot, and it's been that for many many weeks. So, uh, as I said before, uh, I don't want to uh, start a forest fire here, so I won't make fire today. Yeah. And then I also have a shout out for a friend of mine uh, that are making great videos, uh, Viking videos, and uh, they are also in English. So, uh, all of you who are following me can understand that, most of you, and uh, I hope you will find uh, his videos interesting too. He's from Denmark here and uh, making a lot of uh, very uh, quality videos. Uh, so I hope you'll support him. And uh, yeah, but I'll talk about him a little bit later. And uh, I was up in the Uxengard, uh, Uxengård, uh, last Saturday. They had a little Viking market up there. And I was up there and uh, making some footage. And uh, I took uh, black and white uh, photographs and made a little video, a little slide uh, for that. Uh, a little more artistic than I usually do. Um, I've been a little bit fascinated by uh, black and white photography again. A uh, long time ago when I was a photographer, I made a lot of uh, black and white films. I uh, processed, developed and uh, printed out. And uh, yeah, now I have a good camera that can make uh, very good uh, black and white uh, images. So I was uh, thinking of making a special video from Uxengård. And uh, yeah, I hope they will like that too, but I'll talk about that a little bit later too. Now, now I'm going to start my little project with my birch container and uh, yeah, show you how I'll make that and what I have intended to do. Yeah. And I got these back from home, uh, some birch uh, that I harvested some months ago and I'll try to make them out of one of these.
and this is the principle of doing this. Now I just have to cut these. I'll show you. And uh, for that I'll use my little uh, saw. Again it's a replicate of the findings from Mr. Muir. see here, I just have to trim it and then perhaps I'll use my sex for that. Something like this. Now I have to do the other ones. Now I made all three, and uh, yeah, I just have to put them together as they were when I split the wood. As you can see here, a little container. Uh, to hold it together, I have some uh, hide from a, a cow that I'll put on here. I just finished this a little bit, and I'll show you. Yeah. And then I have these, I told you, it's a, a cow hide that I soaked in water. So it'll be uh, stretchy, and then when it dries, it will tighten around the little container. So, yeah. And um, it'll be like this all the way around. You can see. And I want to uh, secure it with some uh, wood nails, so I have to make these, find a little branch I can use for that. see
Yeah, the first side, and then the other side, I bring you a little bit closer. Yeah, you can see here. Then the other side. Is this long enough? Yeah, I think it'll do. I'll put this one in. Just enough so it can be held in place while I turn it around here. Yep. And then I just tighten it here. Make sure that the container is, yeah, and then I'll make another hole here. Put this one in. Yep. And then I'll take this one out. Keeping it tight. Can you use it again? Seeing something? I'm not sure what it is. Yep. Take it up. I'm putting this one down. Cut it off here. Yeah. <clears throat> so now I have a little container here, and uh, yeah, I think I'll put some legs on so that the container will stand raised from the from the table. beginning of the first leg yeah this is how it's going to be approximately and then I have to make for these Or perhaps three. I think I'll make three because then the little container will be more stable. I'm almost finished, I think. The third leg was a little bit too long because it's in the middle, but yeah. Now it's fine. Yeah. And uh, this is how it looks. Nothing special, just a little project 
that is fun to make and uh, yeah then I can I can put some dry meat in all kind of things use it when I collect berries and so on yeah what do you think is this old school <laughs> yeah perhaps And as I said in the beginning, I was up in Uxengard uh, last Saturday and made a little uh, video, some uh, black and white footage, and uh, I would like to show that now.
hope you find that interesting. A little thing that was a little bit different than uh, the things I usually do, but I think it was a nice little event. And uh, Uxenga is a cozy little place up in the northern part of Jutland, and uh, I uh, like to come up there. It's very calm and uh, yeah, lots of nice people that I like to talk with and uh, real Viking. Yeah, so. Uh, they also have a website, I put a link to that, so you can see what's going on in that little Viking village up north in Tornby, in the northern part of Jutland. Yeah. You want some, Cornelius? You want some of this meat? Uh, perhaps? There you are. Like this dry meat, and so do I. But you get a little bit thirsty. Yeah, Canadians are thirsty today. Isn't that right, Canadians? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I brought my drinking horn today and a uh, beer. Brown ale and yeah, I mustn't forget. My little whiskey cookser. Skål, everyone! Yeah. Good. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, and the, and the guy I'm uh, going to make a shout out today is uh, a channel called Ramuni uh, Viking Crafts. And of course I put a link in my video description for him. He makes, he makes some awesome videos, uh, among them from Viking markets uh, here in Denmark and also uh, abroad. And he has a, a channel with uh, Viking Crafts, so it's very interesting to see what he can do. And uh, I can definitely recommend you to go in and check him out. And uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to his channel. Yeah, he's a nice guy. I've talked to him a couple of times uh, on uh, Instagram. And uh, yeah, I think he deserves a lot more uh, viewers on uh, uh, YouTube. So go in and check his video out and see if something for you. Skål. A little bowl for you, Cornelius. 
Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, folks, this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video from Kimber Camp with Cornelius and me. And uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful day. Very hot, very dry. And uh, yeah. Now in uh, 10 days, I'm going to attend the Viking market at Lindholm Hoy, and uh, it's my first real Viking market, and I'm looking very much forward to that. I'm, um, I'm going to put up my Osebad tent from Maltus, and uh, hope it'll be good weather. Perhaps it'll start to rain uh, soon, so that we'll get a little bit uh, moist in the in nature so we can uh, light up our fire on the Viking market. It's very important to do that. So, yeah. Thank you again for watching Kimber Bushcraft. We really appreciate that. And uh, then we hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care. Are Yeah. Like me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.